yes good afternoon to everybody yeah here is today something and today i have a message to the whole world including everybody president to the bottom everybody this message is for all is for you i love you that's why i'm here my name is johnny Borden. people call me love god this message i have is from god jesus christ directly i'm not lying i'm speaking the truth I have a message from God, Jesus Christ, and you need, to, you need to listen. Just listen to this. And after that, I know that you are going to be blessed. And you are going to be careful whatever you are doing. I am here on this earth to tell the truth till I die. Yes, the truth is the truth. And also, get the pen and paper so that you can write some quotations down and see what I am going to say what God is saying, what God told me, I am going to tell you guys and go to the Bible if it's true or it's not true. This message is from God directly. All right, share to your family and friends for you to know how this world we are now, how this world is coming to an end so that you will be very careful whatever you are doing. I tell you, a pastor, you are not pastor. Either you're not Christian or you're a Christian, be careful and listen to this value carefully and make sure that you are taking the words carefully because Jesus Christ is coming soon. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. Now, here, God met me the other day. I have preached this before, but it looked like some people are forgetting about something. God met me face to face in my vision. When God, Jesus Christ, met me. He was having American dollar. I have preached about this before, but people are trying to forget about this. I want to repeat this for people to know how soon Jesus Christ is coming. Now, when I met Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ, in, in my vision, he was having American dollar. And the dollar, the dollar, the left side here, the left side here, he has written there 1.9. And the right side of the dollar, he has written there 2.2. So it's from 1.9 to 2.2. And he's showing me the dollar paper. And he said, do you know the meaning of these numbers? I told him, no, I don't know. He told me that the one point nine on the left side, it means that this world, this is where we are now. We have come all the way, and this is where we are now. This is where we have reached. The moment we move from the one point nine to the two point two on the right side of the money, it means he is coming. So he asked me, "How far? How the distance?" And I said, it's very few. Because from the 1.9 to 2.2, you have to go to 2.0, then 2.1, then go to 2.2. So it's just a few. It's like 0.30 or 0.3. Then he rolled up his hand like this. He rolled up his hand and said, go, tell everybody I am coming. Go and tell everybody I am coming. So we need to stop our sins and he is coming. That's what he told me. So this message, I am giving to you again for people to know how soon Jesus Christ is coming. I love you. I am a messenger. I am ambassador. I am heaven ambassador. And I have to tell you to whatever God is going to tell you, I'm going to tell you. And I'm not going to lie. Because why? I know what I'm talking about. If you, if you want to know who I am, then I will link um, a message under this video how God chose me he didn't call me he chose me to do his work if you watch that video you will know the type of person I am I am not going to lie to you and I love you that is why I always shouting to tell my people to do what is right now, I'm about to tell you something for you to know 
how soon he is coming the way he told me now listen this is mystery i hope many people understand so get the pen and paper down so that you can write down all the quotations if i am lying you will know you will go back and read from the bible as it's written in Acts chapter 70 verse 11 he said when paul preached the people over there when they listen to it they go and search through the scripture and make sure that what paul are saying is it true or is not true so what about you the same thing to you make sure that what i am going to tell you right now you are going to write it down go and do your research and see if i am lying or i'm not lying god bless you for watching it now you see why jesus christ or god he didn't use 10 days to create this world but he said he used six days plus the seventh one says sabbath why is six plus one seven but it's not seven plus one make it eight why he didn't create this world seven days and uh, sorry and um, eight days or 10 days or 15 days or three days or four days or five days but six days plus one the sabbath seven days he used i'm going to tell the mystery so that you know how soon he is coming <laughs> i'm not lying to you. i love you now listen the reason why god jesus christ used seven days or six days to create, to create this world and the one sabbath is god have seven spirit god he have seven spirit the seven spirit you can find from the bible that's what i'm saying write it down the seven spirit god have is written in revelation chapter 4 verse 5 when we read from one down up to five you will see god have seven spirit and that god's spirit he had the seven spirit they made this world one spirit make something a day or a thousand days a, a, a thousand years you see because god said one day is like thousand years to him and thousand years is like a one day to him where can you find it get a pen and paper second peter chapter 3 verse 8 is written there god one day is like thousand years to god and thousand years is like one day to god and at the same time when you read some 90 verse 4 it's also written there you see i am not lying i am telling the truth now ask yourself why god use this i mean the seven days that's i told you the seven spirit every spirit make one a day so when he finished the seed day the seventh one he said rest that spirit was the rest day which is himself jesus christ now he rested that is the reason why we have seven days in a week have you think about that why we don't have eight days in a week or well, we have ten days in a week no the reason why we have seven days in a week is god's spirit because every spirit make one something a day so one spirit create heaven and earth one day the second day the third day the fourth day the fifth day the sixth day then the seventh one say rest that's why we have sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday and saturday make it seven but in god's sight he don't mention monday or tuesday god's sight he said the first day of the week the second day of the week the third day of the week the fourth day of the week the fifth the sixth and the seventh god that's what god mentioned start the reason why we have um um monday tuesday wednesday is is a is, is a roman empire roman empire they are the one came and changed the laws yeah when you read i think um daniel chapter 
7 Daniel chapter 7 verse 25 or yeah something like that yeah it's over there you can see that it's Roman Empire who came to change the laws and the days and time yeah I'm coming back, back to what I'm trying to say you see so now in God's sight we are God is God is going to let us stay in this world for 7,000 years because why his spirit is seven. So we are going to stay in this world for 7,000 years. We are going by his spirit. Now, from Genesis to John the Baptist, is 4,000 years. When Jesus Christ came, it was 4,000 years. If you want to find out, you can find out from Genesis chapter 5. You read all. Then you come to first, first case, second case. You can combine. We see what I'm talking about. That from Genesis to Revelation as a Genesis to uh, um, 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 Adam to John the Baptist is 4,000 years. Then from Jesus Christ up to this time is 2022. Uh, sorry, 23. So right now, out of the 7,000 years we are going to spend on this earth, we have spent 6,023 years on this earth. So now it's left only. 977 years on this earth for you to live before Jesus Christ come. Now, the reason why God, Jesus Christ, met me in my vision and told me that He coming soon is out of the 977 years left. Can you tell you something? He said He's going to cut the days. You see, if you want to believe, if you want to know if what I'm saying is true. That how God's spirit made this world. You can find that one. You see, you can find that one in Job chapter 33, verse 4. You see, Job said, God's, God's spirit, the Holy Spirit, make me. You see, so the spirit God had make everything. So now we are spent six thousand. And 22 23 years it slept 700 and 977. So, out of this, Jesus Christ will be coming soon in this. And that age, that yes, God is going to carry, He won't wait till 977 years before He come. No, He's going to carry this. Why it's written Matthew chapter 24, verse 22. He said, if you don't come early and cut the days, he didn't say he will cut the, his, his, his children's life. He said, he didn't cut the days. Talking about the years left. Devil will try to deceive his own chosen people. So he's going to cut the days. You can read there. Get a pen and paper. Matthew chapter 20, 24, verse 22. So now, he's going to cut it. I don't know how he's going to cut it. Now he says it's coming soon. Now that 977, when he carry, let's say assuming he's going to cut maybe in half. Or let's say, let's say you know, he's going to cut and live maybe 400 years. After the 400 years, don't forget you can die today. If you are watching me, the moment you die today, he has come because after that judgment, you see, after that judgment. You see, so now what I'm trying to say is he can come at any time. Even if you say you are waiting for him, you can die right now when you die. It's a judgment. You will definitely die. And if he come and you are there to make sure you are doing what is right. Now he's going to cut the days. When you cut the days, what will happen? In between the two days. That's how we are going to get one president, the whole world. We are going to get one president to rule this world. It's written in Revelation chapter 13. When you read there. And that president will come from Russia. I don't believe it or not. It's coming life. That's why America is wasting their time. What God has planned. Nobody can stop it. What I'm saying is the Bible. If you want to know what I'm talking about. 
why the blessing is coming from Russia. You can read Daniel chapter 2, Daniel chapter 7, Daniel chapter 8, then you jump back to Revelation chapter 13, 14, then you go to 17, 16, and so 17, 18, 19. You will see what I'm talking about. Revelation chapter 13, Russia will come back to power because Russia has come back to power before when it's Alexander the Great. And according to the Bible, Russia has to come back to rule this world for three and a half years before Pope Francis or Roman Empire will be in the 666. So look at the days ahead of us. All these days is coming, tribulation will be coming. They, they, they are going to beat us. You are not going to feel happy soon. Trust me. <laughs> Christians, if you are Christian, be wow. Watch Jesus Christ very well. Don't just go to church that that no. Because when Jesus Christ come, he is not coming for those who go to church. Too. Because the new Jerusalem will have church there. He is coming for those who do the will of God. And are you doing the will of God? You respect your father more than God. You respect your mother more than God. You respect your wife more than God. You respect your, your husband more than God. You respect your children more than God. And you think of God heaven? No way. You are broke. You need to love God more than everything on this earth. Because your wife is not going to judge you the last day. Your husband is not going to judge you the last day. But it's Jesus Christ who is going to judge you. So be very careful. Because why? It's written in Matthew chapter 10, verse 37. You see, anybody, if you love your wife, your husband, anybody I, more than you, God, you can never enter the kingdom of heaven. I love you. I love you. You see, the same thing God told Noah. Noah, tell my people I am coming soon. People say, oh, then God is not coming, God is not coming. The same thing like this time. No one was preaching. No one preached, 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 or they didn't believe him. Now, Johnny, God, God has chosen me. Johnny, God, to preach and tell you that he will come soon. Like the way he told Noah. He said, Noah, tell my people I am coming. If they don't stop. The same thing God is telling me, Johnny, God, telling you that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Repent and take Jesus Christ. You think I'm joking? It will come in life. Don't love your job more than God. Go. Make sure God first. People don't understand. This is a time. We need to stand firm and tell the truth to our people. Don't listen to the people, the pastors who preach about prosperities. They can't help you. They are all evils. Any pastor preach prosperities, he's evil man. Mostly, when you see their banners, prophetic time. Pro what? Oh, I beg you. Please, let's just do what is right. Jesus Christ is coming soon. Because he had told me, he said, John, go and tell my people that I am coming soon. So we should repent and stop your sins. So you can wait for Jesus Christ. So when you come to the second time, we all will be lost soon. People that join, why are you harsh? Why are you so harsh? I am not harsh. I love you. That's what I'm telling you. When have I asked money from you before? No, I don't need your money. What I need from you is to do what is right. So that when Jesus Christ comes in scant time, show me lost soul. I love you. Can't you know? Can't you see? I am not going to change this message, but I'm going to preach about what? Salvation and repentance. God met and said, John, go and tell him I am coming soon. So please, let them be very careful. Jesus Christ is coming soon. I love you. I will hate you. Can't you see? Please. Let them do what is right. Respect everybody. Love everyone. But don't lie. Tell the truth. I know the person is a president. Tell him the truth. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of any man on this earth. No. If you are afraid of any man on this earth, you are not a Christian. No. Because why? God's pity you never afraid a Satan. 
and what is inside you is greater than Satan. So you have the Holy Spirit in you. You have to love president, you love mayor, you love senators, you love judges, you love governors, but never afraid of them. The moment you are afraid, that means you have rejected God who is inside you. But you need to love them. I love everyone. I'm not going too much. I love you. That's why I'm here. Please repent. If you don't repent, repent. Because what God told me is coming life. Please. If you don't understand something, you can call me at 501-908-5783 and ask any question you want in the Bible. Or you can email me at info at lovegodfm.com God bless you and I'll put the link below this video how God chose me to do this work he didn't call me he chose me so please I love you bye bye